Hi, it's Tara with PDQ. Today we're going to talk about MFA fatigue. So you may have heard Uber got hacked, right? And they got hacked with this MFA fatigue. So this is when you have multi-factor turned on and someone gets a hold of your user's username and password and they have MFA enabled. So good. Good job. Thank you for doing that. But the hacker just keeps trying to log in over and over again. So user is getting met with request after request after request. So whatever you're using, Duo, you might be using Authenticator, you might be getting a text, they're just getting bombarded with it over and over again. And usually hackers are going to do this at night, on the weekend, and after a while, the user's just going to go, oh my God, leave me alone. Okay, yes, it's me signing in, right? Once they accept it, well, now the hacker is in and compromising your system. So that's actually what happened with Uber. And so I thought I'm going to take a minute and show you how to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So first and foremost, it always starts with the user, right? Always talk to your user about this. Train them. Never, never accept an MFA request that is not you. That's step number one. But as a 365 administrator, we're going to hop in really quick. So I'm going to be in Azure. So I'm going to go to Azure. Then I'm going to go to security, and then account lockout. So I'm right here, account lockout. And this right here, number of multi-factor authentication denials to trigger the lockout, I'm going to set it to five. You can go less, you can go more, but five's pretty safe, right? Then the minutes until account lockout is reset, 30. 30 and then 30 until it's unblocked. Again, you can go higher, you can go lower. Absolutely make sure this is set though. So this is going to mean I only get five requests as an end user, so it's not going to go on all night, right? So Saturday night, your user doesn't want to bug you. They're afraid, oh, I don't want a ticket. I don't want to bug Tara. It's going to stop after five, right? So super easy way to make sure your users are not getting hacked like this. Okay, the next thing I want to show you, and this is important too, is if we come back to Azure and I come down to my users, we want to look at the sign-in logs. And as a 365 admin, you should do this every single day. And Microsoft's going to email you, but every day, start your day, look here. We want to look at these sign-in logs. And if you see right here under status, a bunch of failures, and particularly failures with strange IPs or weird locations, you definitely want to check on those, okay? Failures coupled with talking to a user who has accepted an MFA, you get that computer in your office and start looking. You're looking for a key logger, looking at some kind of compromised system. Okay, thank you. Good luck out there. I'm Tara for PDQ.